Tom Corey from Kona Bicycles can talk about some of the changes we made this year to some of our bikes. Uh, we're going to just dive right in and start with the stinky air. We went to a one and a half inch head tube. We shortened our wheelbase up a whole bunch. Got a chain guide on there. ISCG mount. Same thing with the stinky deluxe. We went single crown last year, which has been super popular, and you're going to see a lot more of that around. Big beefy forks, a lot of stiffness. Be really popular bikes. So we got the Stinky 6 here. It's also got a one and a half inch head tube. It's our more entry level free ride bike for the guys that don't want to have to drop down $2,400 on a bike. So it's $1,800, six inches of travel, one and a half inch head tube, ready to go for your privateer free rider. Just trying to get into the sport for the first time. For the coil airs this year, we went with a tapered head tube. So you got a one and a half inch on the bottom, one and an eighth up top, tapered fork, we stiffened up the bottom of it. It's a much, it's a very laterally stiff bike. Our variable travel is set and ready to go. You adjust it to your weight. You go from 6.1 inches of travel on up to 7.4 without having to flick any dials or anything immediate on the trail as soon as you start hitting some bumps. Uh, head, head angle slackens, whole bike slackens up when you go downhill, steepens up when you go uphill. So you've got a bike that can climb everything and downhill everything. It's tough enough for Whistler or anywhere else. Our dogs this year, we go up to 140 millimeters of travel. So you got a little extra travel for a heavy duty cross country bike. One piece magnesium rockers, cut a bunch of weight. We were able to have, add over a half inch of travel without adding any weight to the bike. We've also got the dope light set up. So if you want to do our dope system for brake jack, you can install that. And we've got new Fox forks on there and they're ready to go out of the box for wherever you want to ride them. Heavy duty cross country riding. Hey Hey G9 this year, not many changes from last year. Still a uh, ready to go cross country bike. This is my main bike that I ride to. I love it. I used to never ride gears. We've got the Mag Rockers this year. That's the main change. We have seven 29ers this year. So we're really getting into it. All the bikes are a lot of fun to ride. We'll kind of highlight a couple more over here. We've got the big unit now. It's our single speed Scandium 29er mountain bike. This bike got built because all of us in the sales office were riding our Kula 2.9 single speeded out. Hattie looked at them, thought it was a pretty cool idea, so we went ahead and made a bike out of it. Back order list is growing. If you want one, talk to your shop guys now. Okay, our other 29ers, we got our King Kahuna, Scandium geared frame. Doesn't have the sliding dropouts anymore, so this is a dedicated geared bike. We did that because Barry and Ryan are riding these things and they didn't want the extra weight. So we've taken that, their frames, and made a complete bike out of them. Same thing with the Kahuna at $1,000. That's our entry level 29er. Get going in the sport with a 29er for the first time at a really good point. Get a lot of good parts on it. King Kahuna kind of hits the middle at around 1500 bucks. These are both aluminum frames, while the King Kahuna is a, a little bit lighter scandium frame. This is a Cowan, which is my signature bike. Kind of cool. Um, What's specific about this bike? We made some geometry changes this year from last year, like just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. The geometry is nice, the less sizes, so that people uh, will make sure they get the right one. Um, we actually, on this bike, we actually did most bikes with they do the geometry, they actually make like just the same uh, rear triangle and then they just make geometry changes to the, like length changes to the front. And uh, this year on our small, we actually changed the complete entire geometry of the bike, so it has a shorter uh, rear end as well lower bottom bracket like totally different and um, I don't know, higher eyes bar so you don't have to run spacers it's basically a two inch rise bar plus the spacer so it's 60 mil um, my new signature grips pretty stoked on those these are good and um, yeah it's high-end dirt jump bike this bike right here is the bass which is the same as the Cowan DS full uh, frame only but this is with uh, Bass's parts. Um, slope style specific bike, pretty much the first and only slope style specific bike that I know of. But um, it's pretty cool. Like it's uh, it's got a concentric pivot and adjustable rear end, so you can run it as a true single speed. Pretty much the only full suspension bike that I know of that you can run as a single speed without any extra gear. Um, yeah, it's slope style bike, race based stuff, and it's pretty dope. I don't know what else to really say about it. Best slope style bike there is, I think.